The man who once ruled New York City nightlife has told a media outlet that he plans to end the party in July. Mark Fleischman, who owned Manhattan's Studio 54, once the world's most exclusive club, is now 82 and confined to a wheelchair. He told the New York Post that he plans to use the Swiss non-profit assisted suicide group Dignitas to end his life on July 13. The group helps assisted suicides with a lethal dose of barbiturates after a lengthy screening process. I can't walk, my speech is f cut up and I can't do anything for myself, Fleischmann told the Post. My wife helps me get into bed and I can't dress or put on my shoes. I am taking a gentle way out. It is the easiest way out for me. Related Story Of Studio 54, Michael Jackson, Cary Grant and a Hollywood pimp, director Matt Dernauer on his two awards contending docs. Fleischman now resides in Marina del Rey, California. He said neurologists have been unable to diagnose his illness, which began in 2016. He took over Studio 54 in December 1978 when partners Steve Rubel and Dean Schrager were raided and charged with tax evasion, obstruction of justice, and conspiracy. The charges were for reportedly skimming nearly $2.5 million in unreported income from the club's receipts. Rubel and Schrager were sentenced to three and a half years in prison and fined $20,000 each for the tax evasion charge. They were sent to prison in February 1980, and Studio 54 was sold in November of that year for $4.75 million to Fleischmann, who had an extensive background in the hotel and nightlife industry. He reopened it, then sold it in 1984 to new owners. The club finally closed in 1986. Fleischmann wrote a book about his experience for publisher Rare Bird. Inside Studio 54 chronicled the place where celebrities, friends, and the beautiful people sipped champagne and shared lines of cocaine using rolled up $100 bills. Studio 54 is the focus of a new installment of FX's American Crime Story, now in development. Studio 54, American Crime Story will examine the fabled nightclub, which became an avatar of nightlife for the rich and famous. Fleischmann said he has been thinking about suicide for some time. I came to the decision slowly, he said. Two years ago, I decided that it wasn't worth living. I took a lot of Xanax and ended up in the hospital. He was revived then. But he said, I read a book about ending life. I read in there that the easiest way is to suffocate. But I did not want the pain. I was going to buy a gun. But my wife interceded. We started looking into a place where it would be legal to find someone to do it with, 